Hi, this is Aaron at ThinkBotLabs.com and welcome back. Today we're going to enable our robot to shoot animated bullets. I mean, we can't just have regular bullets. We have to have fancy schmancy animated bullets, right? So let's start off with that bullet. Let's create an empty game object and name it bullet. And then let's go down into our sprites robot objects folder. And we have five different bullet sprites here. Now cycling through these, it looks like we have some duplicates. So let's grab the first one, that third one, and the last one. So it's every other one. All right, grab all three of those and drag it on top of the bullet. And when we do that, it's asking us if we want to create a new animation based off of those sprites. So let's do that. Let's call this animation bullet. Okay, and when we did that, it automatically added a sprite render and an animator to our game object. So to see where our bullet is on screen, let's grab the bullet sprite and drag it on the sprite render. And then um, on the bullet, let's go to the animation and let's check it out. Cool, we have a little animated bullet. Alright, go ahead and stop that and stop recording it. Alright, and for our bullet, we need a couple other components. Let's add a rigid body. Actually, yes, a rigid body, 2D. Uh, for the rigid body, let's freeze the rotation on the z-axis and the position on the y. We just want this bullet going on the x-axis throughout the scene. It doesn't need to rotate or go any other angles. We're also going to set the gravity at zero. And then we're going to add a circle collider, 2D. And that should be about it. So go ahead and grab the bullet and drag it into your prefabs folder. Make sure we're on the right one. So, yep, so drag the bullet in there. All right, and before we enable the robot to shoot, let's add a place where he shoots from. So create an empty game object under the robot. And we're going to rename this to muzzle. And let's position it right out in front of the robot. And we're going to just add a little icon to it so we can see where it's at. Better judge this. Go back to your robot. And on the sprite, let's change this to a, uh, a shoot um, sprite so we can see where we want our muzzle to be at. So we want it right in front of the robot's gun. Cool. All right, now let's go to our robot controller and set him up to shoot. So let's edit the script and we need a couple of variables. First variable is going to be where we're going to shoot the bullet from and that's going to be our muzzle. So public transform muzzle and then what we're going to shoot is our public game object bullet and then in our get input movement we are going to ask the player to use the left mouse button, which is typical of, you know, shooting. Uh, you can change that um, at any time. Go to Edit, Project Settings, Input. You can create a new one, or you can use one of the ones that are already set up in here. We're going to use the Fire one, which is the left mouse button. So to do that, we'll say if input dot get button down. That button down being the Fire one. And after they press the uh, fire button, we're going to instantiate a new uh, bullet. So game object and bullet equals instantiate. And what we're instantiating is our bullet. And we're going to set that start at the muzzle dot position pointing in the muzzles dot rotation. All right, and so to keep the bullets um, cleaned up in the hierarchy, which it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to do this anyways, um, just for cleanliness, I'm going to say that my M bullets bullets dot transform dot parent is equal to game object dot find, and I'm going to put these under the game manager. And set it under his transform. And also since we're instantiating these bullets, 
we need to tell them what sorting layer that they uh, need to be in. Uh, to do that, it's mbullet dot get component render sorting layer name is equal to player. All right, let's check that out. Save it. Let's go back to our scene. Select our robot. Now we have the muzzle and the bullet. So let's grab the muzzle. And then let's go find our bullet in the prefab objects folder. And bring it in there. All right, let's play it and see what it looks like. All right, well, we can spawn a bullet, but it doesn't do anything. It just kind of hangs out. That's because we haven't told the bullet what we need it to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Stop the scene and let's create a new script. And this is just going to be bullet. It's going to be a C sharp. And let's open that up. Okay. So I remove everything out of here. And for our bullet, we need. What do we need for a bullet? We need a speed. So public float bullet speed. And these don't have to be uh, public. Um, you can just serialize them. And then on our update, and in our update, we're going to get the velocity of our uh, current bullet and set new velocity to it um, based on our bullet speed. So get component rigid body dot velocity is equal to new vector two, and that vector is going to be bullet speed by the get component rigid body 2d dot velocity dot y. So let's save that and go back. And then let's go to our prefab, our bullet. Let's add the component bullet script. And then on our script, we need to set the bullet speed. So let's set this at something like um, 10. Let's go ahead and play it and see how it looks. Okay, so fire button. All right, so now we have some bullets flying through the scene. So we have a couple issues right now. One is that they're not destroying. We need bullets to destroy on impact or after a period of time. And if I'm facing left, they're firing back at me instead of going out through the scene. So let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go back to our bullet script. And after we've added velocity, let's tell the bullet to destroy itself after, let's say, three seconds. So destroy game object, and then that time is going to be three seconds. And to fix the bullet to fire in the opposite direction, let's get a reference to our player. So public robot controller player. And then in start, we need to see which direction he's pointing. So player is equal to find object of type robot controller. And then if the player dot transform dot local scale dot x is less than zero so if the player is facing left then we need to reverse the bullet speed in the opposite direction and that's bullet speed is equal to negative bullet speed all right let's uh, play that and see how that goes all right, now they're destroying themselves. You can see under the event manager, a bunch of them there, and they all start disappearing, face the opposite direction, and they do go away from me. But we see that the sprite itself is still facing um, to the right. So let's um, let's go back to our bullet, and then also, if we need to flip the bullet speed's velocity. Let's also flip the bullet sprite as well. So game object, get component, sprite render, and 
and there is a quick little flip on the x is equal to true. So if we're facing the opposite direction, just flip that sprite render, and we're going to set that to true. So let's save that and see if that fixed it. Okay, so facing right, or facing left, and we do see the sprite has flipped in the opposite direction. Let's add some shooting sound. So let's go back to our robot controller, get a reference to our audio manager, audio manager, audio manager. Need to instantiate it. And let's see. So after we shoot the bullet, after we instantiate the bullet, let's go ahead and tell our audio manager to play a sound. And that sound is going to be shoot sound. Right, let's grab that text. Save that. Let's go to our game manager. Let's add another item in here. So four. That sound is going to be shoot sound. And I went ahead and downloaded a gunshot and placed that in here. And let's play it and see how it looks. Or sounds that is. Turn my audio on. Sweet. All right, so the last thing we need to do is set up our player animations so he actually animates the shooting pose. So let's click on our robot and then go to the animator. And we need to add two more parameters in here. First parameter is going to be is shooting, which is a bull. And then the second one is going to be is running and shooting. So we have two separate um, animations. We have the run shoot animation, and then we just have the shoot where he's standing still. All right, let's set up those. So let's bring the shoot animation and the run shoot in here. And so for the shoot, if we're idle, and we decide to shoot, let's play that. Let's make a transition back to that. On the shoot, let's make sure that it's not set to loop because we're only going to play a single shot. And the transition between idle and shoot is going to be is shooting is true. And then back to idle is going to be is shooting to false. Now neither one of these are going to need an exit time or a fixed duration. It's just a single shot or multiple shots. And then for the run shoot, we're going to, while we're running, we can switch to a run shoot by saying that, I'm bring this down a little bit, our condition is going to be is running shooting true and this one also does not have an exit time or a fixed duration and then after we're run shooting we're gonna go back to idle just as we were if we were running and this one is just going to be is running shooting false and also we need to say that if our speed is less than 0 0.01 just like we have running here. So if our speed is less than 0 0.01, we're going to go back to idle. So we're if when the so if we're in the run shoot, we can go back from run shoot to idle by these conditions. And let's go ahead and change these exit time and fixed duration. So it's almost time to go ahead and set these guys up in a substate, but I'll wait for another video to do that. Alright, so let's set up these animations in our robot controller. And this is pretty short, so when we press the fire button, we need to um, animate that um, is shooting. And these are all bulls, so 
is shooting. And we're going to set this to true. And that'll play that animation. Let's bring this over here and make sure we have that spelling and casting correct. Okay. And then after we uh, press the fire button and we are shooting the animation, we need a way to stop that. So we'll say that if input dot get button up and that button is going to be fire one then for our animation we're going to set the bool of is shooting to false and then for our is shooting and running we'll say if input get button down is fire one and get component rigid body 2d this is the component of the robot dot velocity dot x is greater than zero so if he is moving and we are shooting then let's animate that by setting the bool of the is running underscore shooting to true and then if we let go of that button regardless of the state we're in let's go ahead and disable that running shooting animation so anim set bool is running underscore shooting false cool then that's pretty much it let's save that and let's go back to our scene and check it out so I'll let that compile go back to the scene let's press play so now when we let's go ahead and mute the audio so now when I click the fire button he should go and there he goes he's playing his animation now when I'm running and I shoot he should also play his animation all right, so now display with the bullet's um, rigid body to get the uh, to get the mass set correctly and the bullet speed um, all set up. After you get that set up the way you want it, then you can start working on your colliders for that bullet to say what he to see what that bullet should or should not interact with and or destroy. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then.